NCAA softball and baseball have been in full swing in Tuscaloosa. The tournaments have brought in people from all over. ABC 3340's Aaron Wise joins us now. Aaron, the events are making a significant economic impact. Megan, the first softball regional brought in an estimated $750,000 to the area. Similar numbers, if not better, were seen at the Super Regional last weekend. Now we're on to the Baseball Regional this weekend. Local businesses welcome the events during a time when business is slow. This time in Tuscaloosa, it's a blessing and a curse. People, there's plenty of parking. You can get around the city a little bit easier, but also, you know, we've lost such a segment of our population. That typical summertime lull is being disrupted for the third consecutive weekend. Druid City Brewing Company is less than half a mile from Sewell Thomas Stadium where an NCAA baseball regional is being held. A lot of people will come here and you know want to support a local business, have a couple of uh, beers, watch some of the other games that are going on and then walk to uh, Sewell Thomas. Having something like this really insulates us to get us back through to the fall and the later summer schools when the people start returning to Tuscaloosa. Owner Bo Hicks explains they saw plenty of visitors during the softball regional and super regional too. They've had to stay flexible, especially for baseball. The university hasn't hosted a baseball regional since 2006. We've been uh, ready for the softball regionals for a long time. You know, Alabama softball has been so big now with baseball doing it too. Huzzah! Those housing visitors are also staying nimble. Yesterday we were so excited we had over half of the hotel check in and we're almost sold out this weekend. Hotel Indigo in downtown Tuscaloosa is fully staffed throughout the summer. Because it really gives us something to do during the summer. Bama Bound is here, but to have the sports fans coming back and to fill the hotels, that just makes it even better. With two local teams playing in the baseball regional, Alabama and Troy University, the impact could be even greater. They'll stay for not only Alabama versus Troy, but they'll stay for Troy and all the other games just to kind of, you know, be in Tuscaloosa. I think that's a big thing for us is getting people here when it's not football season um, to kind of really, really showcase everything that we have. There's a lot of more opportunities here. Now here's a live shot of the game going on in Tuscaloosa. If there is a game seven games for the baseball regional could continue until Monday. Megan.